Hello everyone, in this video we will uh, set up ratio sprinkler system for the first time. As you can see, I have a this type, we're going to remove this plate and I will read the model number I have it. This one, uh, 16 zone sprinkler system and we are going to set up for the first time. First thing you have to do, you have to download one of the app for this system, it's called ratio. As you can see, it looks like this open you have to sign in create your account add your address like where you are going to set up uh, this uh, sprinkler system as you can see i have everything ready to go and we are going to click here add device once you have uh, your uh, system sprinkler system ready uh, flashing these lights power on you have a uh, connect all the zones on uh, your uh, controller you have an app ready then first thing we are going to do we are going to add a controller this will tell you step by step what to do and here say uh, what you want to add i'm going to add sprinkler controller and i have an address on my name already uh, you can create a new property if you don't have yet but i have a done already i have a, my name last name johal and my property i'm going to click here it says scan barcode it will tell you here how to do you're going to just remove top cover and there's also model number, model number 16ZULWC and serial number, everything, what we have to do, you can do two way. Here it says a scan barcode and add manually. You can also add manually. We are going to scan barcode. Okay, barcode is scanned. If your system is not in setup mode, then you just simply click here. There's a little push button. It will put... Uh, your ratio sprinkle system in uh, setup mode. Now it says connect ratio. Now I'm just going to click and you will also see some lights are blinking over there. Uh, light pattern will change. That means your system and your app are already communicating uh, after barcode. It's going to take a couple minutes, maybe one or two minutes to set up. Now it's asking me for the for the Wi-Fi, I'm gonna click here. You can choose any Wi-Fi. If you don't see your, then you say, show all other networks. You done, you choose whatever you want. Then just click. You have to put your uh, Wi-Fi password, like house Wi-Fi password. Then it will take a, a couple of other seconds and you will see this light gonna blink all the way, I believe. Uh, you will see the system is already communicating. It's gonna take some time. Just wait until this process get done you have to put your wi-fi password i have a priority password after like a side of the camera i don't want to show my password that's why i put my password and i click on uh, connect wi-fi so as you can see almost done here it says uh, the accessory joined the network already wi-fi network say click done now another process starts activating the controller as you can see blue light that means a solid blue light is means we are successfully connected our controller with our app now it will find a location and then uh, we will uh, go back to the the app now we can put this cover back on uh, we need to just only take this cover off after if we have to troubleshoot something now i'm going to click here on the app next uh, here say finish later or set up zones. I can start right now, but I'm going to click on finish later. That's going to be a lot better for me. So here I'm going to look for my controller here. So now I have my controller here. If I say here zones, you can see all the zones. So that's my controller and all the zones. Now we have to set up each zone separately because these zones are not ready yet. I'm not sure how many zones I have connected. I have to check and there's a sum of I'm not using. So simply what I will do, I'm gonna show you one how to set up and you can set up rest the rest later. So I have to go to my uh, grass where we're gonna set up those zones. Now we are outside in the yard, ready to set up all our zones. As you can see, I have a set up one, but just for to test. So that's why I can guide properly. Uh, now we are going to click here. It says uh, we have all the zones here and we're going to click here at the setup zones. You click here, it's going to tell you ready to go outside. Next, then you set up which one you want to. I'm going to say click zone two now. We're going to set up this one. Uh, this one, we're going to click on next. 
and we're gonna test zone that's the way you will find it where it is located it can tell you zone 2 watering and let's see where it's already here and uh, grass middle I'm gonna say yes I found yes uh, we can take a picture take a photo you can take a photo for the location to easy locate I'm at the roadside pointing my camera to the house that's why it's more idea for me I'm gonna do my front door take a picture and now we're gonna click on use photo I'm gonna put my camera here so use photo done next now it's asking you what do you have it you have a grass verb trees flower so I'm gonna say grass which type warm season right now uh, now right now this grass is for the warm season uh, what kind of a sprinkler head you have a fixed spray head next asking you the the soil type I have a loam so I'm gonna click next how much Sun here most likely a lot of Sun six to eight hour now what kind of uh, ground you have it like as you can see is a flat I'm gonna click on flat and finish setup so now our zone 2 is already setting up after that we will follow same instruction to the others I also have a flower beds but on only difference in those one I will choose flower bed when uh, that zone I will be setting up so here we have a uh, set it up already our ratio uh, controller and when you open your app first thing you will see like this is a ratio and it says online and owned just click here uh, first I'm going to show you the zone I have a setup already these are all the zone I took pictures uh, some of are like dull this means those uh, zones not uh, enabled I disabled them not in use as you can see now uh, you can click on any zone you will see by the photo and you can just quick run but another way we're going to set up a schedule if you click here at the bottom it says schedule and now we're gonna say create new schedule from here what type of a schedule you want I'm going to do the fixed from here you have a selected all the zones you want to add in this schedule you can also uncheck that means that zone will not be uh, added in this uh, schedule click next you can rename I'm gonna say Joho one because I'm going to create multiple and from here uh, what days you want to you want to have a specific days fixed daily or hourly I will choose a specific days from here I will do every other day right now it's not that hot and here what time you want to start end before sunrise start after sunset you can choose I'm gonna say end before a specific time I'm gonna choose my own time you can choose whatever the time you want I'm gonna leave it like that so from here next and you want to choose the start date I'm gonna to choose tomorrow and end date never click next and now our schedule already set up but now next thing is like which one you want to do smart cycle smart cycle will skip a lot of things like if there's rain it will skip freeze skip wind skip there's a lot of other things will skip your schedule it will not water on those days I'm gonna click on the next I will leave it like that our schedule has been created now you can choose uh, what uh, uh, what how much longer you want your uh, zones to run like say right driveway they have already recommended according to our setup but you can do up and down like say first one have a 10 minute you can just click a plus more or less next and our schedule has been done already my schedule will start tomorrow and every second day it will be watering that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching meet you in the next video with a new topic